This type of solar space heating has been implemented in several houses, and let's take a look at one of them as an example. In the past, this room was heated by the sun to a terrible temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. But installing the cylinders radically reduced the temperature, because the solar radiation does not heat the room but the water inside the cylinders. After the nearest sunset, this warm water will heat the room. In addition, the owner likes the appearance of the cylinders and he says the room is more beautiful, and the link to his video is below. Now he shows his measurements of the water temperature in different cylinders, and it is easy to see that they correspond to this from my calculations of how the temperature of the cylinder water changes over a 24-hour period. This is the heating of the water in the cylinders by solar radiation during the solar day from the sunrise to this sunset. This is a rapid decrease in the water temperature in the evening, because the heat moves from the warmer cylinders into this cooler air of a room, and this is night, until the next sunrise. This is another important graph, which describes the power of heat leakage from one cylinder into the room, and it is obvious that it is this heat leakage that carry out the space heating of a house. Unfortunately, we see that this approximately 30% of the heat is lost, because they heat the house during sunny hours. But this 70% of the energy provides heating to the house in the evening and at night, although the heating power gradually decreases, and this power at the end of the night is three times less than here at the beginning of the evening. This is the last important graph for the solar day from this sunrise to this sunset. This graph describes the power of solar radiation absorption by one cylinder, for which the multiplication of the diameter by the height is equal to one square meter, if the window faces exactly south. The area under the graph makes it easy to calculate that one cylinder absorbs a little more than 3 kWh of solar energy per one sunny day. We understand that this energy increases the temperature of the cylinder during the day, and we remember that only 70% of this energy will be stored for space heating of the house in the evening and at night. Multiplying these numbers by 100 sunny days of one hidden season leads to this conclusion that one cylinder saves a homeowner 10 or 20 dollars annually for these 226 kilowatt hours. So, the payback for this type of solar heating in a few years requires that one cylinder cost less than $100. I remind you that we are talking about a cylinder whose diameter multiplied by its height is equal to one square meter. These are several examples of the number of sunny days in the cold months for different regions that have warm winters. I am preparing a more detailed video on this type of solar heating, where I will justify these numbers and answer some important questions. For example, why thin cylinders with a diameter of about 10 cm will not work? Or for example, about the interesting properties that appear when the cylinder diameter increases, for example, increasing though 70% or good heating in the morning, or storing energy for the space heating on cloudy days.